Well, I mean, I, I started late, though. You know, I started doing comedy late. So I had a whole life before I started. I think I started, I was 34. I was married. I was with my first wife. And, you know, I, I was raising, raising a stepdaughter. So I just, I had already, I didn't have, I didn't have any fucks left to give anyway. So for me, and I, and I, and I just, and, and you, you know, so I'm 20 years and you're 21, but I remember just feeling like, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna apologize for me. I. I, I mean, I. That's the best way to be, in this. Business. I mean, I was a. I was a pimp for yeah. a while, and and I talk about it because, not because I'm proud of it. I mean, I, I mean, we all have those moments where you think back and you go, man, I, you know. But but to to hide it, you give people the opportunity to have leverage on your life because right. you're living this, not living a lie, but you're hiding it and you don't want anybody to, you don't want to be exposed. And so you spend so much time not being exposed. You know, Dante, I just had this talk with my manager today mm. and I said, when people apologize for shit they're saying right now, they are yeah. so dumb. Yeah. Mm. Something else is going to come out. I mean, I have done the craziest shit on stage mm -hmm. and on videos and on podcasts that I can apologize. Like I right. have to just be open and out there and not be politically correct. I can't because I have too much, there's too much on me where yeah. I'll get canceled tomorrow. If yeah. I start going, you know, everyone needs to stop saying this and stop saying that I, it's, it, I can't do it. And I, yeah. I it, it's so good that you're just who you are and you're not apologizing and talking about being, I mean, I sold drugs for three years and I talk about it on every podcast. Right, I was right. a pot dealer and cocaine addict and I'm open because what am I going to be like? No, I really never did anything. And then someone be like, she fucking did coke with me for yeah. two years. Yeah. You know, and, and then you're going, that's not true. And you're trying to hide it. I was like, yeah, you can't, I've had, I've a fucked up past everyone does, in yeah. certain ways. So yeah. Yeah, I I they, they I think when they apologize, it's almost like you you look. I I think you got you have to be, um, you have to allow people to be allies when they want to be allies. Like you got to yes. give them an opportunity, even if they come from a pa a negative past. You know? If it's real and they're saying it because they really feel bad that they did blackface, not just yeah. because they feel like Got they caught. should, so that they keep their fucking TV show. That's what's annoying me so yeah. much lately. Yeah. Like, do you Forced really understand apologies. what it is? Yeah. Do you understand what you did? Because if you think it's okay, just say that. It's so much yeah. better. That, like, that's what Stern did recently. Yeah. Supposedly he did blackface. It was when he had his crazy show and whatever. And he yeah. said, I'm not going to apologize. I did the craziest shit during that time. Right. I, no harm beyond, you know, there was nothing bad. My no soul. Malice. Was, right. Yeah. Right. No and malice. it was yeah. like, it went away in a minute. It yeah. went right away because he was being honest. But he also volunteered it too. Like he didn't right. wait until they it came. Out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But he volunteered it. He didn't let somebody find it in the dark right. recepts of the net. You know, yeah. he, he, he yeah. went, he, he addressed it first. So I, when I started, I was, I used to do, and they would be like, oh, so you used to be a pimp. And I go, look, I'm not, it's not something I'm proud of. I'm not, it, it happened. It was, it, it's what it was. And I'm, and, and progressively I'm a different person. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to allow me, like one of the things I say, the two things that you're always going to have to do as human beings is ask for forgiveness and give forgiveness. Yes. That's, that's everybody. So yeah. If you're going to be so judgmental that you can't give it, you, you, you better have your shit together. And even if you do, I know. I don't know. I, I'm so, I, it, that's what's happening. It's like, it's, it's, and it's not going to work with comedy because it's really amazing. I mean, these ultra liberal people that you think are on my side, they go after me all the time. Like on Twitter, I'll post something and they're like, I, I, I feel very upset about that word. And why do you, I'm like, fuck mm. you. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it's, don't try to silence me. It's not going to happen. That's why yeah. I'm comic. I'm not going to allow you to silence me. And it's I always say, go to therapy. You yeah. have a problem with yourself. Like you need to talk about it with someone. Yeah, this has yeah. nothing to do with me. I think I, I, part of ahead. it is like you know, th there's a reason for political correctness for sure. From a, a historical standpoint, you know, there's reasons why it exists for sure. But I think sometimes we go after the easiest stuff first. And it's kind of weird. Like, why are you trying to fix comedy because society is broken? Like, you're comp I don't think you accomplish anything by taking on comedy and just leaving everything else the way it is. 
Does yeah. that make sense? Like just if anything, it makes people want to hear us more because we're right. saying what they're thinking and being yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. well, people you know, like pe banned material. Well, pe people yeah. also, people also, I think people are lying. Like, so <laughs> one of the, the, we have three principles on the show is, is uh, the acronym is ACE. It's authenticity, credibility, and empathy. And I feel like if you, if you tell the truth, um, you say what you mean, you mean what you say, and then you have the, the empathy to, you have the empathy to, 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 to say like, what is this person going through? I think that kind of, those three things kind of give you the, 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 the basic foundation to kind of grow, be progressive, understand other people and still be honest and truthful without being insecure. And then you find more so that people are lying because they want to be in a conversation that they don't deserve to be in. So if you're saying, if you say, oh, you know, I'm an ally of the LGBT, I'm an ally, then that allows you in the conversation. If you go, I'm homophobic and I don't, I think it's disgusting, then when we have the discussion, you don't get a say. You man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.